Well, as you can all see, the weather has gone crappy on me. My barrel's got a coating of ice on it. So I think what I'm going to do is stop the process here, clean it up the best I can. I just cleaned these off yesterday, so they, they don't look too bad today. And I don't know if the temperature of the water makes a difference or not. But we got ice. Just a bit. Get this out of here. this all cleaned up and dried off a little bit and let's see what it looks like and if it's going to work for me. I'll bring you right back here in a little while. Okay, here we are inside my shop where hopefully it's going to get a little warmer. I drove this pry bar in between the jaws and they just will not. It's just wide enough to get it in and I can drive it in and they'll spread apart but they spring right back. It just doesn't want to give up. And then I also screwed the screw in. I don't want to hit it too hard. This bottom part down here should come out. If it's like the other ones I've seen. But it is still stuck. Actually, it does look like it's, it's opened a little. It has opened a little because now this little washer, there's a spacer right there that's a little bit loose. I don't know if you can see that moving. I'm going to tap on it a few more times see what happens. Well, it seems as though it's starting to move a little bit more, so I wanted to see if you could witness it, if it comes out. there. That's what we're after. And you see there's a guide pin there and there's another washer that fits over that guide. If you can see that, I wonder if that there's something in there that's supposed to come out. But this all looks like one piece. One big old rusty piece. Making a little bit of headway on the old vibe. Let me go clean this up a little bit in my hand. Well, I got the jaw to open up a little bit more over there, but I decided I needed something a little more substantial to hold it so I could pry and not have it flopping around. And I grabbed a couple of little bit bigger crowbars.
Well, let me work at it some more, but I can get my hand in there now. Okay, here's the vise. I have sprayed it all down in here and on top of here with penetrating oil, trying to get it to soak in. I cleaned out this little cavity in here a little bit. I need to clean this one out yet. Um, right now, I'm going to let it soak. I sprayed some penetrating oil in here too, and there. For the day, I'm probably done unless I can get it with penetrating oil until I can put it back in that tank of water in the spring when it's not going to freeze. So when I'm done today, I'm going to bring it over here and set it in front of my wood burner. Right here is the one part I kind of wire brushed it off and wire wheeled it off. But I'm going to set all, the, set all of it over here by the wood burner. Here's the washer thing. And just keep a good hot fire going and try to dry it all out so I get all the moisture out of that and it will stop any rusting action I guess. I don't know if it's, it doesn't really get, eh, it gets warm enough behind it. I could put it behind it. So I got a pot of coffee going. It's not the frog toad coffee but it'll do. I don't have frog toad coffee. There's my cup. I redrew all my drawings for my uh, gas check maker and I'm going to start my pro that project right now on my lathe. So let me get all set up, and we'll make this into a separate video for the series on making gas checks.